Hey guys, welcome to the video. Let me show you guys how to make a custom name tag. This will show your player name, and they can also show your ranking group if you want that. And yeah, let's get started. So, start by making something I can kind of display it with. So, I'm going to put in a model by building rig over here in plugins. And in this head, I'm going to insert a billboard GUI. And under this, I'm going to insert a text label, but let's not rush too far ahead. In the billboard UI, we're gonna change a couple of settings. First, we're going to change our scale, six, our offset to zero for X. And for Y, we're going to change one to the scale and zero to the offset. If we're using scale, our size offset, I'm going to make this two, because I'm going to be putting the rank thing under it. So go ahead and name this player name. And I'm going to go over to our text label. And I'm going to change our offset to zero here on the scale on the X. And for our Y, do the same exact thing. And it should look like this. Move that ugly background by setting background transparency to one. And then we scale our text, text scaled that. Okay, now we see that we have the thing of our head and it's even. So at this point, you can kind of change around with the settings. Go ahead and make mine player name. So we don't get confused with this in the rank later on. And with this, for example, you can kind of change the text around, font. Changing the text color a little bit. Just kind of make it yours. However you want. It's just how I'm gonna, that's uh, that's the one I choose, text and font. You kind of choose any text and font you want. It doesn't have to be what I chose. And for the, the rank one under it, I'm just going to duplicate this one by right clicking and clicking duplicate. And I'm going to change this one to rank. I'm going to change the size offset to like two. I'll put it under it. And I change the text so I don't get confused. Rank. That doesn't look too bad. But I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. The one under it, so rank text label size is going to be 0.8, a little bit smaller. Put it under it, it doesn't look bad. And for this, uh, you can change this around however you want. You can put this on top of this. Let me explain what some of these things do. For example, the size offset is how far it is off his head, kind of kind of think of it like that. And the text label to change the size of the text, you, it's over here. What you're going to do is you're going to change the Y scaling size, and that's going to change how big your text is. Okay, so now that we have these things that we want over their head, and we kind of like them nice and neat, we want to take both of these, we're going to put them in our server storage. Just gonna delete the dummy. You don't really need him. Just a friend. <laughs> and I'm gonna create a script in the server script service, as you saw me do. And I'm going to get my group ID. So right here is where you insert ID for to show your rank. But if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You don't even need this line if you're not doing the rank one. And I'm just gonna insert my group ID. Now to get started, game.players, player added, connect function, player, player.character added, connect function, character, humanoid, is equal to character, character child humanoid, 
And now I'm going to delete the health that shows and delete the display name that we had before. Don't want to do this. Um, don't have to. Actually, you just want to switch. Health.display type. Um, dots. Void health display type. That's always off. You still want your like health to show. You can delete this line, but it looks a little bit cleaner if it's off. And this is to destroy the regular name that we have by default. Not really destroy it. Just kind of turn it off. Okay, now that we have that, let's change around our UI stuff. So we're going to get our player name UI, our service storage, player name, it, clone it. Let's change our text to our actual name. And let's parent it again to the head of ourselves, our character.head. Now to do the same thing for the rank one, if you didn't want to do the rank one, you don't have to do this bottom part. I'm doing it right now. Again, it's server storage. Let's rank own gui.xlabel.txt like we did with the other one, but this one, I'm going to get the players Get role in group. Put our group ID here. And then we're also going to parent this to the same head. Alright, and that should work. Should be all we have to do. And let's see. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And I'm also I'm the owner of my group, so that's why it says that. And that's what we have. Our custom player name. Pretty simple, not super hard. You can always play around with your settings, make this how you want it, and yeah. Thanks you guys for watching, it was a really fun one, and make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.